Divine Mercy Sunday. I absolutely love this chaplet. We're in the church of St. Francis de Paula in Tularosa, New Mexico. We just finished the Divine Mercy service and I asked the deacon if I can take a picture of this image of Christ as he appeared to St. Faustina in 1931, asking that on the sun first Sunday after Easter, we've just completed the Easter octave today to pray this chaplet at three o'clock. He wants to have mercy on everyone. Most Catholic churches I have seen do not do this service. Tula Rosa is the one that does it here in this area. I was at ICC for Mass today. They didn't have it. If you can, go to a Divine Mercy service, and I'll talk about the chaplet later. I want to get out of the way of other worshipers who want to get up near. At the end of this video, I'll put a link to the video I did of Tularosa a couple of years ago or so. When I'd come for the Divine Mercy Service then in 2021, I'd never heard of this until I became Catholic. And I absolutely love it. Most everyone is left now. And out we come into Tularosa, New Mexico. Absolutely beautiful little village. I just love this village. Here's the church. This was built in 1869, a promise they made to God when they prayed for victory in a battle with the Apaches. They did win through a miracle. That'll be in the video I uh, attach at the end. Watch that one and you'll get to read all about it at some point. You know, that kind of reminds me of the Alamo too. And the parishioners built this in 1869 because they promised they would if they won. And the Catholic Church, Easter is the first day of the Easter octave, the eight days of Easter, ending in Divine Mercy Sunday, the first Sunday after Easter Sunday. It's an absolutely beautiful chaplet. We pray the Lord's Prayer. We pray uh, the Hail Mary, which is what Gabriel said to Mary when he announced to her that she was going to give birth to Jesus uh, if she said yes she did she said let it be according to your will and then we pray um, the Apostles Creed but I don't know why I'm so drawn to this but I really am I love this service all right then we pray we sing it Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. You sing, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And you sing that. And in conclusion, you sing, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. And... When you hear the phrase, Jesus, I trust in you, the full phrase is, O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Many of you trust in Jesus. Faustina was a nun. Uh, and in 1931, that's the year my mother was born. In 1931, she uh, had a vision of Jesus showing up to her at her convent telling her he wants to to pour out his mercy to the whole world and for people to venerate him in his image that you see in this this image here to trust in him to repent of our sins of course, and have great trust in him to pray this chaplet, which is what it is.
we were also supposed to go to Mass. And I went to Mass today at uh, Immaculate Conception in Alamogordo. That's the mother church of the church in Cloudcroft. That's where I usually attend Mass, Alamogordo. I was going to come here for Mass at 11, but I didn't make it in time. I noticed something about uh, Hanchula Rosa. Most of the people there were women at today's Divine Mercy. Besides the deacon, a man, there were three other men there. I counted only three other men, parishioners. Come on, men. This is a beautiful opportunity to pray for Christ to have mercy on the whole world, to pray for God. We're praying to God the Father to have mercy on the whole world because of what his son did, dying on the cross. I love this chaplet so much more than any other chaplet I've heard of in the, in the uh, Catholic Church because it's all about praying to God the Father uh, to have mercy on the world because of what Jesus did on the cross. It's an absolutely beautiful chaplet. The thing I like about the Catholic Church, they, they don't just accept this stuff, not the, not the clergy. The bishop thought maybe she's gone crazy, so he ordered psychiatric evaluation of her. And uh, she had to go through psychiatric evaluation, was found to be perfectly sane. Her vision was of Christ coming, coming to her in her room, telling her about this Divine Mercy Chaplet, exactly how to pray it, what he wants to be said to God the Father. Not all Catholic churches do this, and I don't know why they don't. My understanding is that it was quite controversial for a long time because it's so filled with mercy for the whole world and it's, and it's, it's giving an opportunity for, for prayer for the entire world for God to have mercy on everyone and to call people back to the church to, to ask for God's mercy. And I don't know why some people would be against that, but apparently some were. It's a devotion, uh, devotions, you know, like the rosary is a devotion. Uh, there's all kinds of devotions in the Catholic Church, and of course it's not required of any Catholic to do this. But boy, I just love this one. I love this one. I, I, I wish we had at 3 o'clock every Sunday a chaplet in every Catholic Church. I really do. I wish we had that at 3 o'clock every Sunday in every Catholic Church. Believe me, I'd be there every Sunday at 3. It's the most beautiful thing. If you can next year, go. I know that in El Paso, St. Raphael Catholic Church has the Divine Mercy service at 3 o'clock. And I know that in this region of Alamogordo and Tularosa, I know that Tularosa has it. There, there's only three or four Catholic churches in Alamogordo. One of the other ones might have it, but Immaculate Conception didn't. I mean, yes, they had the image out today in front of the altar and and the priest talked about it, but it's not the same. It's not the same as doing the chaplet. Now I'm driving back to Alamo Gordo from Tularosa. That's the uh, Sacramento Mountains. Beautiful afternoon. Absolutely beautiful. Well, bye-bye from Tularosa, New Mexico.